YouTube, Shuki here with a review of the Power Rangers Ninja Steel DX Ninja Steel Megazord. So this is Shota Kenjin from Ninja, done up in our usual Megazord style. So of course there is Zord Builder on this. There is compatibility with the 5-inch figures that can pilot them, which is something that uh, you could actually do with Shota Kenjin too, even though it wasn't uh, advertised or anything like that. And all that fun stuff. So the Ninja Steel Megazord is comprised of the Dragon Zord, the Robo Red Zord, or something along like that, the Dump Truck Zord, the Train Zord, and the Dog Zord. The dog in which is called the Kodiak Zord, apparently. Uh, we don't really have confirmed names for these two. It's Robo Red or Red Robo Zord, the Dragon Zord, Kodiak Zord, and whatever they call the Dump Truck and the Train. I assume Train and truck or dump truck or dump or something like that so fun stuff this was available at toys r us for 34.99 then on the back here it shows everything i just discussed plus the compatibility with the uh vehicles and stuff like that so without further ado let's go ahead and get this open and take a look all right and here is the dx ninja steel megazord and i have to say i like it quite a bit it's a pretty good toy uh, regarding the original Japanese version, the only major functionality difference that you're going to find by picking up the Power Rangers release is the fact that the helmet is not a Ninshuriken, it's just a plastic piece, and so it doesn't have the electronics that the original Japanese had. That's honestly the only functionality difference that you're going to find in this, because Shurik Engine, let's be honest, was a pretty simplistic toy. Uh, it wasn't horribly, horribly complex or anything like that, so... Here we go with the Ninja Steel Megazord. And one thing right off the bat that I really do like is how streamlined it is. It doesn't really have that whole blocky thing that Sentai mechs generally do. And the one thing that it really does that I enjoy quite a bit in terms of just display factor is the fact that the helmet is a lot smaller. It doesn't need to have the electronics in it. So you're stuck with a helmet that looks a lot more like the suit in the show as opposed to a big clunky top hat looking thing. So... I like that quite a bit about this one, uh, if I do say so myself. Now, obviously, other than uh, missing some paint detailings and stuff compared to the suit in the show or the Japanese toy, like I said, functionality-wise, you're pretty much set. Uh, to get down into the base components, uh, it is very, very simple. But before I get into that, one thing I do want to point out is that you can kind of customize this just a little bit. Um, this makes just a giant shield basically and the i i will admit on the ninja steel megazord it looks kind of gaudy uh, to be honest it's just really big uh but one thing you can do that i think is actually kind of cool uh and you can kind of do it to the the sword too if you want to if you want a place to store the sword when he's not holding it you can actually fit it down here and that is for a secondary transformation uh, it does try to make him a little bit back heavy, especially when you add this. Uh, what I wanted to do is you can take the port right here and shove it into the back. Again, this is for an additional transformation that we'll get into in a moment. You can kind of set this back here. It does make it a little bit back heavy, but I kind of like it. It like gives him wings. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, these uh, hip joints right here are a little bit weak. They're just Zord Builder ports, and those aren't the tightest things in the world in terms of actual movement. So you're getting a lot of back heaviness on this guy because of just how much he's leaning back because of the weight of the wings. But it, it looks cool. I dig it a lot. I dig the wings back there. I think it's really neat. Uh, so I like that quite a bit. Now, for the alternate transformation, you can actually transform this into a dragon mode that is seen in the show. Not a whole lot. They only used it a couple times, if I remember right, in Ninja. But you pop out the uh, Robo Red Zord, or Red Robo Zord, or whatever his name is, our little ninja friend right here, and you kind of convert him into an arm. And what you do is you just slide that back. You can position these however you want to. I believe officially they are like this. And you're supposed to swing his head back, but he does have a head articulation, but it's really tight. And I don't really want to break it or anything, so I'm just going to leave his head like that. So you have this, and you're going to pop off the dragon and replace it with the red one, which this joint is very tight, and it doesn't want to work. There we go. So <laughs> you got that. It does make it look a little weird, I think, because, well, it's just... It doesn't really match. This one's white and this one's black. Uh, and then this one is black primarily. So it doesn't really match as well as I would like. But uh, hey, that's just uh, me being nitpicky. Take your dragon. Fold him in half. 
like he's doing like yoga or something like that and find the tabs and pop him in bring down his little hands so that he can grip the thing and kind of just you can splay out his legs a little bit just like that and all you're gonna do is swing this forward just like that and you have the dragon mode which is all right now admittedly this is going to look a lot different than the one in the show for the simple fact that the one in the show has a different helmet it has a blue one of these that sits on top of the dragon head to make a cooler looking head and unfortunately we don't have that with this toy it only included the one helmet and i don't think we're ever going to get it so uh, we're stuck looking a little bit wonky like this, but it's an additional mode for the kids and it doesn't look too bad, uh, it admit admittedly rather, but it was not something I really enjoyed in an inter and it's not really something I enjoy too much here either. It just looks really strange. It's not <laughs> really a dragon, but uh, that is just my personal preference. I'm not really a huge fan of this mode, no matter what toy or suit we're using. Uh, but it is additional mode for kids, and they might get a kick out of that. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and convert it into the additional Zords. The red Robo Zord is very, very simple. Its head's crooked now because I tried to move it from before. Just swing it like this, and you're good to go. Right there. And there will be an action figure release of this guy. So if you like his design... He's going to get an action figure in the Deluxe Action Heroes line. This is part of the dump truck. We're going to just set that aside in terms of the dragon. Pop him out of the seat. Pop off all of his pieces. Make him stand up straight. These will connect to those clips right back here. And then the wings will connect to that port right there. So here is your dragon. He's also getting a figure release, which is a little bit weird because I don't think he necessarily needs one. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Take the rest of the body, straighten it out, and pull off these pieces, which admittedly, these ports like to stick quite a bit. So you're going to go ahead and keep these separated, pull that down, pull that down. Go ahead and take your little dog out, the Kodiak Zord, as they're calling it. Cute little doggo. <laughs> He's going to sit over here. We'll go ahead and take the pieces of the dump truck, slip that through, and position the handles however you like. I kind of like just leaving them like that. Take the arm piece, fold out these little wheels, and then clip these into the bottom ports right here. And there is your dump truck, which admittedly uh, looks kind of stupid. <laughs> Again, it's one of the things I didn't really like in the Ninja, but... Uh, the smaller things that we did to change this mold up a bit uh, made it look a little bit stupider. So it doesn't really even look like a dump truck anymore, to be honest. And then you take your train. The white piece will fold out a little connector, and you just plug it in right there. Now, unfortunately, these don't clip together at all in any other fashion. But uh, the clip is pretty solid, so you're gonna, it shouldn't really come out or anything like that during play. If you're worried about that for the kids, then you can whip it around and knock over the other swords. But there is your train, and here is the crew. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to really put the helmet piece. You can just kind of plop it in the back of the dump truck if you want to. But there's nowhere to actually clip it, so you just kind of have to set it aside for now. So the train rolls kind of. The wheels aren't terrific on it, but if you have it on a nice flat surface like a hardwood floor or something, it might roll pretty decently. The dog... Unfortunately, has no major articulation. His head can move up and down because of the placement into the train for the leg. But that is it. No mouth or anything like that. I already talked about the dump truck. It rolls, and then this thing can go up and down. But that is about that for that. The dragon uh, can, like, fart, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want to call that. And the arms do move up and down. No movement in the head or anything like that. And then the red Robo Zord can obviously get quite a bit of articulation because of the various ways it transforms. And then you have arm and head articulation right there. So 
There is your five Zords, the Red Robo Zord, the Blue Dragon Zord, the White Kodiak Zord, the Pink Train Zord, and the Yellow Dump Truck Zord. I don't know names for all of these yet. I know the names for these two. <laughs> I know that because of the Morpher, but I believe this is Red Robo Zord, and these ones are unconfirmed. I just hope it's Train and Dump Truck, or Truck, or Dump, or something like that, but... Here is your five Zords, and getting them back into the Ninja Steel Megazord configuration is very, very simple. Take off that, fold these back in, and have them like that. Take your doggo, fold his head up, pop him in like that. You're good to go here. Take your dump truck, pop this out. Make sure you fold the wheels in like that, and it will pop right in here and there is a port on the back and i will get to that in the rumble tusk megazord video but you can take the yellow one and pop it in the back here and that's actually what you have to do when you put the red on and you change the arms around uh, when a different zord fits inside the little chest cavity but like i said we'll get to that in the rumble tusk megazord video take your little red guy fold him up like he's ready to sit down Fold that out, pop them in there, and then you're going to want to fold your little arm control hand joystick things so that he can hold them comfortably. Just like that, take your dragon, dismantle his back, position the arms however you want. I believe the official transformation is that right there. So pop that in, take this apart, the wings will go right there and then the arm will pop out because the socket is kind of loose just like that go ahead and put the legs in which admittedly can be a bit of a pain like i said those bottom ports are a little bit tight sometimes then take the sword put it in its hand unfold the helmet put it in those top ports right there and you are back to the ninja steel megazord so pretty cool like I said, at the end of the day, I actually like this one quite a bit. It does have Zord Builder ports in the arms and the legs. There are some additional ports down here that you can attach things to. There's clips inside there that you could probably attach things to. There's a Zord Builder port on the back that we'll eventually use in one of the vehicle videos. Uh, so there's quite a bit of ports. There's also ones up here on the shoulder of the dump truck. So there's a lot of Zord Builder ports scattered about this toy that you can attach various other toys to the zord builder line is something i'm a very huge positive fan of i love it for kids it gives their older toys a lot of longevity that they don't get in some other toy lines so i like that quite a bit if they have dino charge toys they can put some dinosaurs on this thing spice it up and i like that quite a bit if you are a fan of ninja and didn't get shurikenjin because of money reasons i think this is a pretty nice substitute it's only $35 normal retail. You can usually get it cheaper. There's sales on Megazords all the time. And it's a pretty solid release. It is missing a lot of paint, so if you're a customizer, you can probably spice it up a little bit. But I like it. It's neat. It works. It's solid. And it's just a fun toy to play with at the end of the day. It's not my favorite Megazord to release thus far, bar anything, really. it's I'm not a huge fan of the way it looks exactly. But... As a toy, it's solid, it's fun, kids will definitely get a kick out of it, and uh, mix and matching the other components of the Megazord's release later on down the line is certainly going to be something fun for them as well. So that about does it for this review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a cool video like this one. And as always, thanks for watching, take care, have a great one, bye.